look at this the PTU 112 is out and apparently this one here is all about the tutorial taking off landing combat flight it's apparently all in here so we're gonna take a look and hey, I'm in yeah. Hustle on over. I'm learning how to walk here hold on buddy Carrasco, but everyone knows me as Gilly. Hey, Lucas. Six squadrons and qualified on almost a dozen ships. Ooh, nice. So if you put in the time, I'll get you on the path to dogfighting with the best of them. We're gonna set you up in the ship on the landing pad over there. Hustle over and let's get going. All right. Move it, move it, move it! Oh, he's showing me how to sprint. What, Lucas? Why'd you get me to run if you're gonna walk the whole way? It's kind of a dick move. Use your shift button, Lucas. Come on, Lucas. Easy there, rookie. That's my ride. This one here. So you were training me. What are you doing? You're over there! What are you doing? I'm over where? Over there? Over where? What are you doing? You're over oh, there! You son of a bitch, Lucas. Point the direction you want us to go there, Lucas. Let's move it, Rook. I'm learning how to use the F key here. Hold on. I'm really good at using that F key. Looks pretty good so far, though. Alright, first things first. Take a look around your cockpit and familiarize <sighs> yourself with the layout. How do I do that again? To quickly find and access specific controls. Last thing you want to be doing in a scrap is bringing up the instructions. What is it? There it is. The majority of your systems are disabled. I'll be controlling when they're on and offline to simulate potential scenarios and combat situations. Let's get ready for takeoff. I'll do this step by step to show you how it's done. Systems, check. Engines, check. Tower, permission for launch. Copy that tower. All right, first I want to lift vertically until I'm just clear of the landing pad. You don't mind if I skip those checks, do you? Now that I'm clear, I can straight forward onto the taxiway. I'm going to skip those checks. Now I square my ship up with the ceiling doors, ready for a vertical takeoff. Looks easy. Looks easy, buddy. Once you're aligned, the tower will open the doors. What a show off. No pressure, no pressure. That's it. Once I clear out, it'll be I got turn. this. It's not my first rodeo, actually. Ready? I'm enabling your systems. We'll monitor your progress from up here. Ooh, I went a little red there. I'm clear for lunch. Yep, know all that. Nice, you're clear of the path. Okay, now straight forward onto the taxiway. If you need it, the tower should have lit up your path. Make sure you don't pitch or roll. It'll be tough to get back into proper alignment. Don't align yourself with the middle of the doors. You'd be surprised how many crews forget that the cockpit is not the center of the ship. The tower will open the doors once you're lined up. You're lined up. Alignment's looking solid. Watch it. Oh, right. there's a ceiling here. That's a good line, pilot. We'll open the door. What are we? Hold.
great job. I haven't seen many pull one off on the first That was try. pretty awkward. I just enabled your targeting system. Use it to target me. You should have uh, had that top door open, probably. I thought you said it was clear, but it wasn't clear. You're a real dick, Lucas. Good. When you show your target. Great. You're locked up. I don't normally match target. I don't. I haven't tried. I haven't played around with that. Remember, this is an autopilot, so you still have to steer. But you'll notice that once you're locked, okay. your computer will continue to monitor my speed and adjust. It doesn't matter if I speed up slowly or stop fast. Ah, I see. Cool, cool. That, my friend, is the Spire. Isn't she a beauty? There's a lot of good looking things in this game, man. Moving on. Now this is my favorite part of training. The barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> so much fun. Rolling is a great way to orient your ship to fit through tight gaps or evading coming And get fire. dizzy. Now you give it a go. I already did it. But I'll do it again. A couple times. Barrel rolls all day, buddy. Yep, yep. Is that good? Lucas, are we good or what? Nice one. Well, you seem to be able to handle your ship, so let's see if you can handle a bit of combat. I'm not worried. Thrusters, yes. Must know. Check your radar. You should have a contact. Don't worry. It's just a training drone. It handles just like the real thing, but its weapons are Stress me out. than lethal. Saying that, they still pack a punch, so try not to take any hits if you don't have to. Use your targeting system to quickly target the closest enemy. Okay, now look at the top right of your hut. You should see the target displayed. This will show real-time damage, shield status, and a few other things. Shields are drawn as panels floating around the ship. They'll shrink as they weaken until they disappear completely. At that point, your shots will hit the hull and cause lasting damage. They've locked my ship down here, too. Now your weapons are online. Line up your target and fire when you're ready. Good shot. See its shields weakening on your hut? Yeah, it didn't like that. What are you waiting for? We'll finish it off. Now you have a target. You'll have extra aim rate kills. Those are predicted impact points or pips. They'll show you where to shoot to hit a moving target. Notice you have multiple pips with varying lag. Each of those indicates a weapon on your ship. The computer's trying to compensate for the varying speeds between your ballistic and energy projectiles. That's good stuff to know. Fire and control Cover that and equip a ship. And give your weapons time to cool, or they'll overheat. Good hit. Keep firing. There you go. Keep on the pressure. It shields are down. Finish it off with a missile. Ooh, I know how to do this. Missile locking sensors are on the nose, so keep your target in front of you long enough to lock on. You're going down. Ease up. Your weapons are getting hot. Good kill. On me, rookie. That wasn't so bad. It's turning out pretty good. On me, let's go! Let's move on. Uh-oh. Looks like he had a friend. Take a look in your review camera. He's got locked. Missile's incoming. That hit took out your weapons. You'll have to hold out till they come back. Countermeasures are still online. Use them. Ah, I see what you did there. I can't use my weapons. It's all countermeasures now. And you see, I'm 
down mine to mouse wheel down, I changed my countermeasures by mouse wheeling up. Thought it made sense. It feels natural. I like it. Flares have a short lifetime. Don't be too quick to fire them. Another pro tip. Countermeasures are fired backwards, so never fly a missile head on. Launch countermeasure and expect it to work. It's good advice. Careful. These ships aren't cheap. He's got locked. Missiles incoming. Good. You got your guns back. But I'll need more time to get your missiles up. If the drone gets behind you, enter decouple mode to disengage your main engines and allow you to spin your ship around while retaining your original Ooh, vector. It's actually a pretty neat trick, but it's more advanced, that's for sure. It's a great way to dissuade your pursuer, but make sure you check your path ahead first. Give it a try. Just remember to disengage when you're done. You're taking hits. Check your heart for shield and damage status. He's got locked. Missiles incoming. Turn off your decouple and then spin around. And you'll be doing me, 200 in reverse. Well, it looks like these drones can really take a beating. I think uh, I need to dodge a missile. What's going on here, Lucas? Is there something wrong with this drone? I think I have to dodge a missile or something. If I gotta dodge a missile, then you gotta shoot one at me there, training drone. That took long enough. Good kill. We're heading back to the landing pad to restock and refuel for the final part of your training. On me, rookie. Sounds good, Lucas. What was up with that last drone there? You did good back there, kid. So let me guess, you're only a commander fan. Oops. What the hell's wrong with you? Sorry, sorry. Takes a little while to get back. I think tutorial is a pretty important part of the game. I'm impressed with this so far. You messing with my throttle there still, hey? This should be close enough. Once landing mode's active, your heart's gonna swap out your combat systems for landing specific functionality. You can Makes cycle sense. through available landing pads the same as cycling through targets. Oh, I didn't know that. Once you've targeted a landing pad, request permission to land. 
Okay. Go ahead and pick a landing pad. Your radar is replaced by the landing system. It'll guide you fancy, to the pad fancy. and help you perform a safe landing. Oh. You can use the automatic ETL landing procedure or do the whole thing manually. I am going to try that actually. And press M. Make sure your ship stays within the bounds of the pad. Well, I'm pretty good at and landing manually. Uh, so I'm going to let it do it on its own, automated, it, see what happens. You look at it and you press M. And nothing. Ah, there, you have to get pretty close before it starts taking over and will land your ship. Well, that's pretty handy. Touchdown. Great work. While we're waiting, feel free to take a look at your ship setup. Oh, yep. Yep, yep. Yeah, this is all in your HUDs. All that stuff's pretty important. In there you'll see your weapon groups, shield configuration, and power distribution. You yep. wouldn't mess around with them during training. Yeah, I disable all your shit right away. Um, I press the home key. That enables the cursor in the middle of your... Where is it? There's that cursor. And then you can just start cycling through everything this way. It's another way to do it. Topped off. Let's get back out there. Take off when you're sounds ready. Sounds good, sounds good. Think you can stay on my tail? If you need to get up to top speed in a hurry, try boosting. You can also use it to overpower your maneuvering thrusters in order to take tighter corners. You do have a limited amount that takes time to replenish, so don't go nuts with it. If you need to cut your speed in a hurry, use your space brake. It's much quicker than dialing back your engines, and the moment you let go of it, space you brakes. automatically accelerate back up to your previous speed. It actually really comes in handy. Use your space brakes. I know not all that realistic, but still pretty awesome. Think you can put all this together? Let's see. Yeah, no problem, man. Still with me, kid? Good job. Now one thing you need to understand, every ship's outfitted with systems to look out for you. That last sharp turn, you probably felt your ship clamp down on the speed. That's your G-safe system kicking in. I didn't actually. Making sure that you aren't taking too many G-forces and blacking out. If you need to get that extra edge in turning, you can disable G-safe, but be warned. An unconscious pilot turns to a dead one pretty quick. Right on, my G-Safe's off right now. You also have ComStab, which adjusts your forward velocity so you can make controlled turns. Disabling ComStab will allow you to maintain your velocity in turns, but you will drift wider. Well, I just turned that off. Think fast. Uh, yeah, this is pretty easy.
race you to the spire. Kind of have a lead there. Not fair, Lucas. Hold on. I've got contacts inbound. Contact. Bando fighter. Dead ahead. This is not okay, a drill. Okay, this sounds like fun. This is not a drill. All your systems are active. This is a live fire encounter. Mark your target. Copy that. I got the other. Good luck. Stay sharp. Ah, We've easy, got more easy. Inbound. Looks like there's a glaive in the mix. That glaive's a recognized ace. Enemy designation is tank. We're gonna have to work together to take it down. Target the glaive. Well, I got that tank. Don't you worry about it. And just Good like kill. that. Glaive's down. You're clear to engage the rest. Good luck. Oh, we're clear. Ruin all the fun. Hell of a training session, huh? Yeah, not so bad. Power spikes from your ship. They must have hit your what power happened? plant. Your ship's loaded with military intel, so we can't let it fall into enemy hands. You'll have to initiate self-destruct before you eject. Now that sounds like fun. Get me out of here! Get out of there! I didn't like that ship, anyways. Cutting it close, there, kid. Nah, I don't think so. I Let's get you back to base. First round's on me. Well, that was the PTU-112's training system. Everything worked out good. Lucas is a little bit of a dick, but it was all good. It was entertaining. Good times. Time to scoot here, though. This is Gaskets, and thanks for stopping by.